Welcome to the Dude Comedy Podcast. This is Burns, and I'm fucking gay. Yeah. Doesn't even respond in the chat. It's day of the podcast. All of us have super busy schedules, and that mother effer is probably sleeping. It's 8 o'clock here, meaning it's 10 o'clock there, right? Yep. What a piece of shit. Yeah. But, for everybody that's here and listening, welcome to the Dude Comedy Podcast, episode 68, maybe? Hopefully that's right. Don't know what the hell we're going to talk about. Hey, that's but a good guess. I don't know what it talk. is. If you pay $1 right now, you can get an ad-free podcast. <laughs> you can get an ad-free podcast. <laughs> For $1, ad-free, no ads. We predict if things go as they have been going, we will be completely ad-free in about two months. Wait, we're not ad free. Well, no, well, we we've still got have them. Random. We've still got like one dollar shave, maybe, and then ZipRecruiter oh. for some reason thinks. Oh, it's we a still good got ZipRecruiter. I, I was yeah. talking so much shit about them. I thought we didn't have any. Yeah. So maybe, maybe we should look inwards. Maybe we should look in the mirror instead of bitching about it. Maybe it's us. Maybe nobody likes us. Maybe the companies don't like the way we spin things. Maybe yeah. It's, maybe it's us. It, I mean, I just get like weird. Like a lot of the ads we do, it's like, it's like mainstream type shit, you know? Like, why can't we do like we something some cool? Underdogs. Like yeah. some like a subscription box for fucking dildos or something. No, no, not obviously not that, but like something co- like we have like a gamer crowd. There's got to be, there's got to be something that we can do that, that is that demographic, you know? Yep. Hey, you know I what they do, always but say. I don't. That what they always say, guys. If you build it, they will come. They will come. Well, we've built it. We've built it. We've built it to ten to fifteen thousand consistent people that listen in on iTunes. YouTube's dog shit. We don't even worry about that anymore. I don't even know why we upload it over there because YouTube just strikes it. It smitey o smitey one on all of our stuff there. But I don't get iTunes. Why. I mean, we're we've got some really loyal people there. So. I don't know. What what ads have we ran? We've done Food at Home. Yep. We've done Dollar Shave, which I, I like Dollar Shave. It, I, I, you I, get, I like, they could come back too. The email they was, could, very, they the could, email was they very could. vague that they just ran out early of their yeah. spend for this quarter. Um, Zip Recruiter. What's another one? Is that all we've rotated No, no, with? There, was, uh, there was one more. It was... Uh, I remember Burns reading it because I was like, "What is that?" It was was it travel something? Yeah, like it was you could the go yeah. Yeah. travel plane? one. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, yeah, you're right, Kyle. I mean, there's so many like gaming oriented or just dude oriented, sport oriented companies. Yeah, we're doing like TV commercials, man. That's not us. You know, maybe what? we need a manager. Maybe we need Someone, somebody with yeah. their feet on the ground to sell us. What do you think? I'll give him some of my equity in this thing, which is worth a lot of ads right now. <laughs> no, I was reading an article the other day about podcast advertising and like uh so these guys that were on Bill Simmons like original podcast team uh so they they were paying Bill Simmons like 50% or something ridiculous 41 41% and they were like doing this po- political podcast and stuff. And then all this stuff happened where he got fired from HBO and they started doing all of his own th- own thing on the ringer and they waited out their contract and then they left and they started five podcasts and their own network and took over like the top charts and just like buried him. And guess what their best ads are? Blue Apron, Dollar Shave Club and something else. It's just, I was just reading this whole article and I'm like, man, that's crazy that this is like the most talked about feel good story about these guys came from like the from the system and created their own system and they're getting dollar shave and blue apron ads well that's 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 crazy what it is dollar shave and blue apron are high profile so they go for all the bigger ones which is why we don't really pull a lot of weight we need like kyle said we need the the niche guys we need those unique come you you said as an example a dildo whatever just is acting funny but i guarantee you if a legit sex toy company hit us up and said, hey, we want to work with you guys, we'd probably sell some sex toys. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. 
For yeah, sure. we anyway. we'll, we'll, we need to brainstorm. We'll do it off the show. I I I applied to a few different uh, places. That maybe they can manage us. If not, we'll, we'll just take the we'll grassroot it, man. It's one thing I like about. I mean, we we don't keep off the show really. It just some a little behind the scenes for anybody listening. We don't really cut a line or draw a line with off the show and on the show, which hopefully you guys can appreciate. Like we'll literally at Fourth the end wall, of the show man. we'll. Yeah, we'll tell you how we're trying to come up with the best clickbait title and thumbnail. We talk about the sponsors, the lack of. So it's real at least, right? Hey, people like that. People, I've always been like that. I always just tell it how it is. And um, if somebody with some form of intelligence who can understand the way you're doing things and why, like they're fucking down for that, son. That's right. Did you I've guys get always in on been the- straight up, man. Yeah, always. You got to. I mean, that's what you got to do these days, man. There's so much stuff out there on the internet that is just manipulated to try and make certain people look like certain things. You're just going to keep telling more and more lies to try and look cool. Just be honest with people, man. Yeah, I was in some beef with the dude on Facebook two days ago. And so how I run my Facebook page is I ask a lot of people to use their content. A lot of times they just think it's cool that I'm going to put it on my page and they just say yes. So this dude was like, do you tell or first off, like, why do you steal so many videos? And I'm like, all right, first off, you're assuming that I'm stealing all these videos. And I was like, no, I'm not stealing videos. He's like, well, I bet you don't tell the people. It's just funny what people think, like how things work when it really doesn't fucking work that way. And he's like, well, do you tell how do you tell the people how much money you're making off their videos that you put on Facebook? (laughs) And I'm like, dude, I literally do not make any money off of any video I post on Facebook. And he's like, he's like, oh yeah, that's what I would, that's what I'd say if I was you making a shit ton of money off. I'm like, I'm so like, he dude. just admitted that he would he would be a liar. Yeah, I got a good one, Jimmy. And right. I'm like, dude, yeah. I have no reason. Like, I don't. I make money off of posting links to my website. He was like, oh yeah, so the the videos you steal on somebody's like people don't understand the concept of embed here in 2017. They're like, oh, the videos you steal from people and put it on your website, huh? I'm like. We're getting like the views are going straight to the original uploader, which is perfectly legal. Like it's an embedded so CNN view. and Fox and all them they're they're being shady because they're not paying. They didn't pay the senior citizens that they took the video of them with the flood, where they were all sitting in like four feet of water. They should have paid them. It wasn't their video. Oh, don't um, tell me you've seen the lady with the the cold girl and her daughter too, right? Dude, I've seen them all. I can't. Just, dude, I, I, I tried to put myself. I tr- I saw some this morning, and I tried to put myself in their shoes. Like just looking at it was. I guess it was the worst area, and it was a. It was an upscale neighborhood. Okay, just imagine your neighborhood, Kyle, and then water up to the rooftop, of everything. And I was just like, how how do you even bounce back? Because I'm assuming. Even in the ones with the one foot of standing water in the houses, those houses are pretty much ruined, are they not? That shit goes into the to the walls, and I mean, I would think it would be almost impossible to get it cleaned out without like mold and black mold and all that shit. Just I don't know. It just seems like it would degrade the oh, house yeah. to the point where the house is trash. And then you see these houses where it looks like they're in a lake, and all you can see is the roof. I just it blew me away. I don't. How does it? How did it get like that? I mean, I know with like New Orleans, fifty-one you know, inches of steady yeah, it rain just kept going and going and going, and a levee broke. And I guess they're like a. Uh, well, isn't Texas a flash flood area too? Something not like not that. not saying know. it was a flash flood, but like oh my god, when it rains, the shit probably piles up like crazy. Oh, I'm sure, man. I'm always going to live on a hill. From now on, I live up on a big hill now, and I'm if I ever move or build, it's going to be on a hill, regardless. That's why I live on Sugarloaf Mountain. Yeah, that's just crazy, man. It just it, the amount of destruction and damage and people's, and I, I, I mean, you can always rebuild. I hear that stuff, but most people say that, and they're not the ones at ground zero that have to fucking rebuild. You know? Yeah. It's... Speaking of that, did you see Jake Paul is heading down to Texas? That was one of my most popular tweets ever. I was just completely kidding. I was on the Twitter. You know how they do Twitter news where people pay for the Twitter moments? <laughs> and, the, yeah. and the top moment was like social media star Jake Paul 
Uh, well, I, I'll read it. Uh, here it is. Jake Paul heads to Texas to save lives amidst Hurricane Harvey. <laughs> and this whole article about this, about how he's risking his life to go help people. And I was like, oh, my gosh. He put it on Twitter moments. Dude, he put it on Twitter moments. He had it on his YouTube. Here's the deal. If Jake Paul was genuine, okay, and he really wants to go help, that's great. But first of all, they don't want help right now in that fashion. They don't want people coming in and complicate. Wait until they get everything to taken rebuild. care of and then come in and help him swing a hammer. Yep. Okay? But if he's going to go do what he's going to do, use his social media influence, all that good stuff, he, he has a huge reach then to raise and get water and blankets and stuff. That's awesome. Don't bring your camera. Don't vlog it. Don't put it up on your channel. Just go down there and help. Yeah, yeah fuck I, no, he ain't doing that. It's like the, uh, I don't remember the specific thing that FouseyTube did years ago, but... Uh, <laughs> Which one? Or Just not being even a complete ago. faggot? Oh, yeah. Not oh, even specific ye- thing. I thought you meant yeah. in general. It was a bad specific thing. It wasn't even years ago, but he basically was like doing something, doing something, and then all of a sudden it was like, wait, if you're going to go do and give and do all this stuff, why do you have to make a 39 minute video of it with like the sad music coming in and him handing like handing people pizzas and stuff. And it's just like, what would these guys really do it if they weren't going to do get the views? No, no, it's they're all uh, they're all about what's trending. And, you know, what's trending right now. The flooding in Texas, like <laughs> it's, it's all it. they're fucking about. And it, it, I mean, if I saw Jake Paul on the news out there helping and he had no form of video, then I think he was a cool guy for it. But you know, that's not it's sad. You know, he's just really you think the tre- first thing that went through his mind was being able to put saving lives in Houston flood in his title. Yeah. And just oh, saving, sure. attempting to save face on his like piece of shit personality. Yeah. Like, you know, it, like this, it wasn't his idea. It was somebody, somebody saying like, dude, you're, you're, you're a piece of shit right now. So if you go and do this, like it'll look good. The thing that's sad is that we have to have, this is just, this is just like the assault thing. The thing that is sad is the three of us sitting here right now, have to have a conversation about some dude's motives on something that should be so easy. Hey, this guy's a good person. He just spent a ton of money to go down and help people. Hey, this guy's a bad person. He just hit a girl in the club. We have to question whether or not this dude is manipulating again for fucking internet fame. It's just sad. That's the world we are in right now. Yeah. It makes When you put it that way, we sound pretty gay for talking about it. Well, there's nothing. I mean, it's not that we're. It's out there. We're not the only people talking about it. I'm sure that Jimmy's got ten different people on his feed going off on it. We kind of sound like a bunch of spiteful guys, don't we? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I we're bitching about no ads. We're bitching about Jake Paul. We're bitching about Burns because he's a lazy fuck. Let's talk about let's. What's something positive in your life right now, Kyle? Bitcoin hit an all time high yesterday. Oh God, fuck yeah! You you've got oh yeah. well, you've got some of that. That's I saw that. I, first thing I thought about was you. Uh, but the it. thing is, I actually have more into altcoins, and so you, typically when Bitcoin hits an all time high, people start sucking their money out of altcoins, which drops them. Yeah. So I mean, it was cool because I do I do have you know a small portion of bitcoin i would have more if i wasn't sucked into a ponzi scheme by one of my very good friends oh look but, at burns. Uh, <laughs> burns did you guys start yet i just got home home Jordan. tell him he's not allowed he's not allowed in here like uh t- say no we'll start say yeah it's almost over fuck it say yeah it's almost yeah tell over. him it's almost over we have a good flow right now so fuck we don't need a four let's just not even yeah. respond see if he joins the call sorry no, keep going Kyle. The call he'll mess up the rate he'll mess up the Shit. I got it. I'll lie to him. What are you going to say? Done. Ha. So, yeah. What, um, what the fuck? Where were the, I mean, typically when we do it on the day of, like, we're in here. Like, he's usually up at like 6 45, 7 o'clock saying, What time are we going? Dude, he's living that 30 year old retired life. The dude right. just kind of goes where the wind blows him. Yeah, I like That's a great comparison, retired guy. Just a yeah, old man. He's the retired guy hitting the. Layout. And I mean, come on now, come on now. This isn't a huge priority. The 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 sponsors have bailed on us, so Bert's probably like, "Well, <laughs> uh, this isn't gonna work." 
Yeah, well, I'm, I'm telling you guys, long term run of we things, know. We we're know. looking solid. As yeah, long Jimmy know. this morning, he's kind of threw a red flag up. He's like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it today. I'm like, no, what? that is not okay. Okay, <laughs> let me, Uh-oh. let me, let me. The flags no, have been no. raised. I'm up at. 6 30 in the morning getting kids ready taking kids to school and i get back here and i completely block out that it's day of podcast which is even more stressful than normal and i've got a i've got like eight things lined up today i have to do on top of the channel content that i got to get done and then kyle's like who's ready <laughs> i'm like fuck so i vent i vent into the chat and the first thing this sensitive fuck does oh that's it. This is the beginning of the end for Jimmy. He's bailing. <laughs> hey, Burns I'm is like, here. No, dude, let's do it. But we got to do it now. And hey, I'm fucking here. I'm here on the mic with you. That motherfucker. He's here. He he's here. Oh, all right. I can edit it. No, for he's you. in Just the chat. Send me your... I know. Just send me your stuff when you're done. Sorry, yeah, he's I didn't on the show. Get home till he's now. listening. Burns. Oh, there he is. He can't hey. talk though because his recording's not on. Uh. <laughs> Hold on, we'll wait for him to give it, give it a. We'll sink him in with the one, two, three, gay. Yeah. Oh, great! Another behind the scenes. Now everyone knows how we sink in, Kyle. Great, dude. The fourth, the <laughs> fifth just, wall is down. Yeah, tell tell everybody how we away. sink in every hey. single time. Hey, can Damn. I? Damn. Can I tell you guys? Where's something? he at? Hey, if can I tell you two guys? Oh, there he is. Sink in. Hold on. Sink in, Burns. Yeah. Where the fuck were you, Burns? Uh, I just got. I just got home. You guys aren't almost done. You Home started, from what? You just started 10 well, we minutes were, ago. We were doing a short one because we didn't have an editor and we didn't have shit to get done. Well, what What's do you mean up, 10 guys? minutes welcome ago? This to, is a... uh, <laughs> Welcome to Duke Comedy Podcast episode 68. Oh, we, we were close. We've been on the call for 20 minutes. It sounded better when Jimmy did it. No, we're just kidding. You're fine. Uh, yeah. No, we, we just we just had other... minutes. We're not really mad at you. We just, me and Colby are supposed to golf at 9.50, and so we needed the hour gap. And we got to get prepared. I got to stretch and shit. I can't just fucking go into it. You think I just go in a cold turkey month? No, I fucking can't. I got to stretch, take a couple putts, maybe even hit the driving range. But, yeah, we're looking great. Hey, you know. Kyle called me out, so I'm calling you out. Is your lack of being here because we have no sponsors? No, man. I'm excited to do this show every single day. I just wasn't home. You sound like you're excited. I am excited. Speaking of cold turkey, I did roll over and I was like, give me five. And I was really close to five minutes. I turned my stuff on, got a little drink, took a long pee, and we're here, guys. And the flow's been great. Welcome, Burns. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad we're all here together on this day. Can we get a motivational prayer from Kyle mixed in with a motivational speech from Burns about how Jimmy's going to get through his eight-item day? All right. Bow your heads with me now. (laughs) <laughs> dear lord i know i'm not on you know your high priority list right now we 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 got shit going down in houston so you're probably not hey shh, i was giving hush, you hush little ambiance angel. hush little angel so <laughs> <laughs> hey jesus i know we got shit going down in houston but um just take a little bit of time to you know, look over this podcast as Burn, Burns comes in late. Tensions are high. Um, you know, I'm about to golf here in a little bit. Will you kind of, kind of burn through some of these clouds out here right now? Feel me, my nigga? And uh, let's just let's just rejoice today in this podcast. And, and You just, just call God my nigga. How do you know he ain't black, sons? <laughs> Just, just rejoice with us today, and um, just let us feel your spirit upon us. And um, God is good all the time. All the time. Yep. Amen. Burns's boy Joel Ost- Olstein was getting roasted on Twitter. He, was, he got called he out. He opened roasted, that man. church up, didn't he? Oh, dude, would you get the Reddit and Twitter people going after you? I was actually talking there to my was brother a dude about that was this. On his front- his front thing he's like i don't see it flooded what was weird is he was like i like you joel olstein i worship you and we worship you and we need you to help and i'm thinking what whoa you guys how you gonna dog how are you gonna dog him like that and then say that yeah how are you gonna be the dude that put him on blast get to the top of our videos millions of views (laughs) just you worshiped him but you just brought the pitchforks to his front door 
He was getting. Isn't he missing the point though? Is he's not supposed to be worshiping that the guy. guy? No, that's the problem. That's that's why I can't no, wait to hear what Burns says. Jo- what Joel Osteen does is what's called the prosperity gospel, where if you give his church a lot of money, God will give you that money back tenfold. No, he says that. He pitches that. That's, his, that's prosperity. Is that, that legal? That's prosperity gospel, dude. That's what it's all about. I'm so done. No, I'm so going to open up a church. Money. That's what I told you. That's why I said that's the key to that's the ticket, man. How is that even legal? Because it's religion, man. That's the that's the you got to respect religion, dude. He's got a yacht that says blessed on it. What a cunt. (laughs) (laughs) Is it say hashtag blessed? Yeah, I think so. (laughs) Wow. That dude's got like a 20 million dollar mansion, too. He just rakes in the dough. He gets you say cunt. I say genius. That well, that too. Well, the thing is, like, a part of me would be like, this motherfucker probably doesn't even believe in God, but I bet you he does, and he's like, well, yeah, you know, God will give me all this money if I'm hella religious, and hey, it's working out, you know. That's crazy. I didn't know. I didn't know the whole prosperity gospel thing that he would literally tell you to donate to him, and then God is. So what happens? There's a bunch of people who all of these people donate to him. And then they don't magically have this money appear well, in their you, account. You, you just don't. That have would enough. be the. You just, that would be the devil. Enough. Hey, that's the devil. You oh, the devil's Jimmy, intervening. You don't the devil's have, intervening. You don't have enough faith, Jimmy. Your faith is not strong enough. So, so if your faith level is low and you donate your hundred dollars, and it, well, and you go to Mister Olstein and you say, "Well, I donated everything we had this week. The kids didn't get any extras. We don't have enough diapers." And he says, "Well," and you say, "Well, is it coming back to me? It hasn't yet." And Mr. Olstein will say, well, your faith level's not high enough, so here's what you can do. You gotta, I have a special bonus package that if you donate to, it's going to raise your faith level by 10 points. Is that what you're telling me? You got to you gotta just pray a little harder, Jimmy. Find some friends and Jimmy's, family that can, that can borrow you some money to give to Is this to like me? leveling up in a video game? Like yeah. you could, I could go to Olstein right now and say, hey, look, I've got $1,000. Can I get like... 50 prosperity points or something i mean is that what we're talking here there's levels <laughs> no, yeah there's uh, then you prestige and then you get a uh, mystery you prestige. then you get yes. mystery uh mystery supply drops will drop so down. if you prestige do you go up on stage and they like douse you with holy water and everybody well, gets to my favorite yeah, and you get new gear scam. my favorite scam you get new is, gear. Uh, <laughs> my favorite scam is uh benny Hanna with his uh oh yeah spirit, knocking with, people out with his spirit water man Buy some of my spirit water, and and God will give you that money back tenfold. I feel but the spirit. God, God never gives the it. Okay, I, you would think it, I, I get it. He's off the and rails. I understand guys. what he's doing, but but would it not come a point where this business model would come full full circle, and he has so many followers that it would come back and and bust him out because you would have literally tens upon thousands of people that are not getting reimbursed by God or whoever and no, no uh, man because they're getting they're they're no. here they're hearing the message that's what they do they're in wow God is good wow. all the time I just it takes a it takes a hell of a guy to to do that take that many donations and then go buy a yacht and say blessed he's got a private jet too and a 20 million dollar yeah. mansion yeah, there was another dude. Uh, there was another dude who got who got flamed for. Uh, he had like a private jet, and he wouldn't let people in the church use it to like get out of somewhere. And he was like, "Not nah, sorry, some just, old cunt." Yeah, he's like, "That's just for uh, that's for me." <laughs> wow, I, I just, I'm getting I'm getting mad. I don't. Let's talk about something else. Jimmy's just sitting there, like, man, I've been doing this whole business thing all wrong. Jesus, dude. Well, if he's not doing the prosperity levels, he's fucking up. That's where he's. That's where he could just quadruple his his revenue stream right there. Hey, if you get to prosperity level one hundred, then like Colby said, you get new gear. You get a new prayer shawl. You get a. If you get to level five hundred, you get a new Bible signed by me, Joel Olstein. <laughs> yeah, but but you gotta. Yeah, it's if all. If you get to a thousand a... points of prayer prosperity, you get a lock of my hair to wear in a pendant around your neck, and then surely, God is going to redeem you for the forty thousand dollars of your savings and your IRA that you gave me. And if He doesn't by then. You're fucked, and Satan loves you. His Don't redeemer for- lives. 
uh, His don't Redeemer forget, Jimmy, lives. Yeah. You have to go up there and open all the boxes, and it's just like when you open your video game boxes, and it's like, oh, I got it! Yeah, and everyone celebrates. Oh, I'm with surprised you. he doesn't have like, yeah, like he doesn't have like different levels of <laughs> prayer supply drops you can open. Oh, he so, might, man. Like, like digital, digital, not real. Like digital, you go to his website, you open up a supply drop, you get maybe. Well, he's not Catholic. We could. I was thinking, you could say, "Well, you got five Hail Marys." That means I'm going to say five Hail Marys for you, or you get a free chicken sandwich at our breakfast. Five Hail Marys, <laughs> lunch Jeez. we have. Or, uh, Jimmy's off the rails, and I love so it. So it's kind of like, like you know how on like YouTube, you know, you make like a cool thumbnail and it like really hits, and you're like, okay, well, for other videos, I'm going to kind of try similar thumbnails like that, you know? It's kind of like he's probably up there like giving a sermon, and he has like like hot words or uh, like key words he says yeah, that like yeah, yeah. really starts bringing the money out of people's pockets to put in the fucking uh, the the preacher's hat or whatever, you know? Like he has like these just key words that he knows. He's like, oh my god! When I hit this keyword, like shit's about to go down. Like money's coming out of people's pockets. Like I guarantee you, without a doubt in my mind, that that's what goes through these preachers and these these uh, pastors' minds. Oh yeah, for sure. Like that. If you think about it, like that's so. At Rachel's church, she has uh, in her parents' hometown. It's like a small town um, church, and like. They basically, as almost like a scare tactic, it's a small church. There's not that many people. There's probably like 35 people. You know, as like a scare tactic, they talk about like church finances in front of the church, like during services, you know, like they'll put it up on the board and say it like, like the breakdown of everything just to like, it's not to scare people. It's basically to keep the church alive because if they don't have funding, then the church doesn't exist but i mean it's it's funny like it literally like revolves around money <laughs> it's, it's Th this pastor helped world. turn a gay man into a straight man oh i ain't gay no more i ain't gay no hey, more look at this video i put in here you would think if jesus was with this guy he would he wouldn't have let his butt hit the ground watch that one i already know what video you sent for the other one i ain't gay no more <laughs> I'm watching one right now. A pastor uses invisible power. Oh, my God. He's knocking down like 50 people at a time. He's getting oh. it. Oh. No, no, oh, no. Oh, back roll. No, look at this. This dude's fucking bowling with people's bodies. <laughs> he's knocking down I've, hundreds. I've seen that one. Man, I want to go to one of these churches one day. Dude, he just kamehameha would every motherfucker in this church. <laughs> He's going to knock them out of the balcony. They're just going to fall out of the balcony. Jimmy, you live in the South. Don't you have a bunch of these people around you? Nah, I don't go near Black people? Like this. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, fucking really super religious people. Uh, oh, he hit him with the long ball. He even got the guys in the nosebleed seats. This is fucking ridiculous. Okay, we're probably offending so many people right now, guys. This is fucked up. All right, guys, we will not offend you for the next little bit because Burns is going to take control of where we're going next. Take Woo! us, Burns. Take us, Burns. Take the so floor, sonny boy. All right, so fantasy football. Kick <laughs> off yes. a little bit. I already got two guys who have blown out their knees on my team. So this is, uh, this is a little <laughs> yeah, motivational. Oh, Don't... wait, you have Ware and Meredith, huh? I do, yep. I got to say one. Hold on, hold on. I got to say one more thing on this, and I swear I'll stop. <laughs> You guys, you just watched the one where he knocked down like a thousand people, right? Yeah. He knocked down everybody in this place, right? Yeah. How how come the cameraman didn't fall? Yeah. Oh. He's immune, dude. He's, he's oh. immune. He's he's got too much faith in the devil. He's prosperity. He's like legendary prosperity status. Oh, he he's, believes he's, in uh, the All right, devil. back to football. Sorry. So, anyways, uh. This is a little fantasy football advice. Never have your draft too early because uh, I have two guys that are now out for the season that I have to replace. Cameron well, you could have had Julian Edelman, too. You could have had Edelman, too. Yeah, good thing I didn't have him. And now uh, Kareem Hunt is already taken in my league, so I can't pick up a replacement for Ware, so that kind of fucking sucks. And uh, Cameron Meredith, he was a... Uh, the Bears are, the Bears are going to suck, so maybe that one won't hurt me too bad. But He was still a number one wide receiver, though. He was undrafted. He was good last year. Yeah. He would have got you some points. Yeah. But... Who are all the injuries right now? Him. Uh, Those three. Edelman. Edelman. Yeah. yeah. Was uh, Obi, 
Was OBJ all right? He got hurt in the one of preseason game about a couple weeks ago, didn't he? Well, yeah, he's he a little, yeah, just a little, little twisted ankle. 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 A little tweaky tweak. I got a rating from Yahoo Sports of an A on my draft. Really? Because I had a D minus on mine last year and I won the league, so that doesn't really, really? Do much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yahoo's Yahoo's really weird when they do the ratings because they'll do it like based on your draft, where you drafted the dues, and then they like take the projections. So if if you uh if you take like Matt Stafford in the last round, they like blow their load for it. It's like this guy got with a, a top tier quarterback in the last round. And then like, if you actually get a defense and a kicker, but if you might have some guy in your league who has a way better team than you and you'll look at his team, but he doesn't have a kicker and a defense yet. And you're like, Oh, I, I get it. A is still good though, because that means that you're at least not, I was like a C something with everybody. Dude, my school, my squad is fucking bomb though. Who you, oh, got? Yeah, you told me, you told Let it to me. Let me go Yours down. It. <clears throat> Derek Carr. Beckham Jr., Amari Cooper, Tyreek Hill, Melvin Gordon, Darren McFadden for the early season, Jimmy Graham, Tevin Coleman. So that's a squad right there, but let's go to my bench real quick. Ezekiel Elliott. We got uh, Mariota. Eddie Lacy, who's kind of a wild card with the Seahawks, but... um, Literally doesn't hurt you. John Ross, which could be a fucking... A plus wild card, the fastest dude ever. Yeah, uh, Dwayne boy. Allen, tight end, New England. Gronk always gets hurt. I don't know. Um, and then Jonathan Stewart. Dude, Stewart was your last pick. Uh, I don't know if he's my last pick. He's just isn't last the on the ro- bench. Isn't the, ro- isn't the rookie McCafferty? Well, yeah. Well, you know that's the thing is he's not. I'm not starting so, him or nothing. No, but that's awesome because I mean I don't. I never wish injury on anybody. But if anything happens to McCafferty, you just put the starter on, as your last round pick. And Stewart's been serviceable for for years. Yeah, are we really that confident in fucking McCaffrey though? No, never. Uh, my team, I'll run through mine as as well really quick. I got Matt Ryan, Keenan Allen, Marvin Jones, Eric Decker, Le'Veon Bell, Todd Gurley, Travis Kelsey. My bench strategy, always the same. Take a bunch of buddy wide receivers. Josh Doxson, Bashad Pierman, Matt Stafford, uh, Alvin Kamara, Paul Richardson, Josh Gordon, Devin Funches. Yes, I have one backup running back, one quarterback. The West, rest are all unproven wide receivers. That's just my strategy. One of them always hits, and I will look really smart. I did it last year with Corey Coleman and Michael Thomas. I had both of them, but I'm very thin. If I get an injury, I'm I'm done. I'm see you later. See you next year. But sex, Billy, is time. It is, huh? Cool. Oh, hey, Jimmy. <laughs> Sorry, I was watching fake pastors. <laughs> Uh, I haven't done a fantasy draft, so I couldn't really interject. Are you hey, doing one? Burns. Uh, I focus more on the daily fantasy of it. So all three of us decided that uh, we kind of are starting to support Jake Paul. He's going to Houston to help save lives. Save lives. Yeah, that's a good uh, PR. And he's going to vlog it, and all the money he makes <laughs> off the vlogs, he's going to donate. Hell no. Is he? Pretty, pretty good, P- pretty good oh. PR move right there. Uh, I lied. I'm sorry. That's not true. I'm sure his uh, PR director manager was like, "Yeah, this sounds like a great, great opportunity to uh, get your image back up." So there you go. <laughs> you didn't hear what Kyle said. That's exactly what Kyle said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Houston shit is fucking crazy. There was like a. Sh- I saw a picture of a shark on the freeway. What? Saw a, dude, saw a dude pick up this woman in her jet ski. Drove the jet ski right into her living room. <sighs> I saw the lady I on saw the that news. One. I, I saw just, that one. A lady just fucking laid into the news. Yeah. Yeah, that one was also good. Lane. Hey, yeah. uh, can I go full full spoiler mode uh, theory real quick for Game of Thrones? Yeah. Okay, so everyone listening right now, Burns and I did this on the last one when it was just me and him and people <laughs> seemed to appreciate it. If you are catching up on Game of Thrones and listening to me right now, Fast forward a couple minutes, and if it's still me, Kyle, or Jimmy talking, the odds are we're still talking about it. I'm going to keep this short and sweet, but I'm giving you a warning because I'm not an asshole. And this is my theory on how the show is going to end. So you might not want to listen. And this is completely me theory, not fan theory, which means I'm probably way off on everything. 
but I was just rewatching them like I Jimmy did. We watched the shows, and you know how they create the Night King, those uh, those kids create him with the dragon glass. You know what I'm talking about, you guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. so my my idea is that John, because it's going to be a bittersweet ending. John, I can't even pronounce his real name. He's gonna uh, he's gonna sacrifice himself and and bet himself with Dragon Glass to go battle the Night King. That's what I think is gonna happen. He's gonna do what with what? So so he'll embed himself with the dragon glass, and he's like the so he'll be like so the night king was supposedly she's gonna like put it in his ass. No, like in his heart, like in his chest, because like, you know how everyone has to serve a purpose, and they don't know what John's purpose is. But someone's why would that kill the night king? I'm conf- he's gonna ex- like explode like a no, no 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 he's gonna John's gonna can, like sacrifice himself and become like the White Walker guy who was supposed to be the leader before he turned bad the White Walker guy was supposed to be good the night yeah King. but the White Walker guy's already a guy I'm, so he's there so he's gonna so turn John himself kills into himself, a, he's just yeah, gonna become a, he's a gonna White t- Walker connected to the Night King he wouldn't become the Night King but he would because he has the magic power that they're saying. Someone has the magic power in the show. No one knows who it is. The, ma- what magic the dude that has the magic power is the motherfucker that made the dragon come back to life and breathe blue fire, buddy. Hold on. That's my di- theory. We need to dive deeper into this. So he's going to fucking put tons of shards of dragon glass in him and no, explode No, not tons himself. of shards. Not- no, 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 no. If you are immune to it, like the dude was who c- was the Night King, and he got stabbed with it. Then he was now he's that badass dude. By the way, people listening, I don't know names very well. So John's gonna be just do the same. Well, the thing. Night he's King got it. stabbed with Dragon Glass. That's how he became the Night King. Oh, they got they embedded it into him. So John's gonna be like, it's live or die right now, and he's gonna sacrifice himself. He might die yeah. or he might turn. But when he turns, he'll be a good version of the Night King and get everyone back on the other side. That's a probably that's a dumb a, theory. That's a highly, highly risky maneuver because he could just die. And die, then, exactly. Then they would, ha- but yeah. That's what I'm know. saying. I'm just saying because everyone kept saying that this hero guy was going to be the dude that keeps uh, dying with but the guy that lights his sword on fire. And I'm like, no way, dude. If it's going to be anybody, it's going to be John because he's just the, the character, man. Yeah, anyway, no, crazy he's... theory. It's going to be Jamie Lannister. I also thought that, too, and I was like, and damn he's going to kill Cersei, too. Yeah, so Jamie's on his way to join join the North. But yep. uh, I, I, I don't, I don't think five I don't think there's going to be... that aunt, nephew, incest, boat sex? Loved it. But yeah, so but I've I've read that like isn't that how the Targaryens roll? They bone inside the fam. Yeah, yeah, they keep it. They keep the blood bloodline lines. pure, pure. My man. Because that's what they were saying at like the end of the show discussion. It, they're like, they're like, yeah, John, it's, this isn't gonna sit well with John. I'm like, wouldn't that be a good thing? Like, yeah. his name like, ain't Tyrion John. Was, I think people. Tyrion was a little jealous. A little jealous. He knew that there was some Targaryen. Bumping uglies going on across the door. Yeah, I, I think I think the end is going to be pretty. I think what's going to be more interesting is what they do with Cersei, like how they get rid of her. But uh, I really do think, in some form or way, like Jamie is going to have to oh kill her. But yeah, gosh. I, agree. I, I think they're going to kill the Night King an episode or two episodes before the end. I don't yeah, think the very end of Game of Thrones is going to be the, the Night the King. Night King. Jamie, yeah, so. so the, or Jimmy might be right. Well, Jimmy's theory. So the, the yeah. guy's name I thought John was going to be is Azor Aha, you know, whatever. And the the whole theory is about how Jamie Lannister might save everybody. Damn it. You were right. Yeah. Jimmy, I was yeah. wrong. Well, yeah. guaranteed J- Jamie Lannister dies sacrificing himself for good. Guaranteed. Yeah, he's Probably a, for- been building up the in- for seven seasons. This dude has slowly grown a conscience. You remember season one where he pushed? He pushed. Yeah, he started it all. He pushed Brad that, out the season one. Window. That he was said, the very first episode. Yeah, yeah he and out. he's like, "Hey, I do it for love." Now let me bang my sister again. Yeah, I mean, I think basically what's going to happen is going to be pretty straightforward with like the army of the dead. It's like they know what they know what they need to do. There's going to be a battle with John and the main Night King. It's going to be a sick ass sword fight and shit. He's gonna he's gonna slice him up, and then basically this is after you know all the other 
all the other like little Night King guys that died and a, a large portion of the armies just the dies because of that. Yeah. Because, I mean, they've already showed what happened when you kill whoever brought it back to the dead. I don't think they're even going to kill the dragon. I think they're going to kill the Night King, which in turn is going to drop the dragon. The dragon's probably going to be just wreaking fucking havoc. And well, no, the uh, dragon's going to kill the smaller alive dragon. Yep. Yeah, yeah It's going to come down yep. to dragon on dragon shit, whatever goes down there. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's going to be a big happen. battle, but how, how it's going to end is with the army of the dead is they're going to kill off the white walkers, which um, as we've already seen, when you kill the white walkers, it kills, you know, whoever they resurrected. So it's, I don't, I don't think it's going to be a, it's going to come like down to the wire. And then, then the, the night King dude's going to die. And then they all just die and it's all over. I'll give you another one. Is there you six guys episodes know the, or eight? Six the, or eight. What are the, what are the, the big wolves called? Die wolves. Yeah. Dire wolves. What could happen, and we saw the white one like not too long ago with Arya, and it like came up to her, and then it had a whole pack around it. Yeah, it could be where Braun like wargs like an entire army of these dire wolves, and they attack the White Walkers. That's actually not. A he's gonna idea. he's gonna warg something. He's, he's got to do something. Sitting in a wheelchair is gonna do something. I th- yeah, yeah, I think that'd sure. be pretty anticlimactic if uh, that's how they went went out. I mean, I'm not saying that's how they win. I, I, it's going to be a, like a three-step process because they're going to get their ass beat. Winterfell's oh, yeah. Winterfell's going to drop. Yeah. It's all going to go back to probably King's Landing. So what's and funny... And also you have that 20,000 um, gold army coming from the Iron Bank. Dude. Too. Hey, spo- dude, that's the greatest... You know, you know who that guy is? Remember when Daenerys, season five, she sent that dude off who was in love with her? Yeah. That's him, Dario, whatever. So he's no, gonna, no, 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 yeah. no. Dario went with them to the north to get the, the zombie White Walker. No, oh, not Dario. You know what I'm talking about? The, the guy that ended up being the Deadpool guy, then he got replaced by You're the... You're talking about the black dude that said... No, that, no, no, not the black oh, yeah. dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, No, 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 yeah. the guy no, that no, was no. in love with yeah. her. Yeah, it's the dude that was on, by her side forever, and he rolled and he out. Killed, yeah, he, she kicked him out because he was falling no, in he's love with ba- her. No, he, that's not him. That's yes, not the is. guy that's at the army. No, it's oh, not. It's that dude... Not. That That's dude was in the north with them, surrounded by the... No, Jimmy, the, wrong guy. You got the wrong guy. Hold on. It's So the dude, the bad guy on uh, the bad guy on uh, Deadpool, like the main bad guy, he was in okay. Game of Thrones, and then this character replaced him as the same character. Right. It was the dude that was falling in love with uh, Daenerys. I know his name. I read this the other day. I read it the other day. I know his name. I just can't you think about of it. The only one I this know that's right in love is, is right the here. bodyguard that got the the that's gray him. scale. No, it's came this, he oh, no, no, been, that's, he hasn't that's been Jaro. around for like a season. That's Jaro, this, or whatever his name is. Boom, here you go, Jimmy. This guy, the he badass. Came, boom. Oh, oh, what? Did she ban him? I forgot. Yeah, no, she sent him to go be a mercenary warrior in the, the army, supposedly, that he's oh, going. Okay, okay. That's his army that Cersei just bought, supposedly. His well, army was only 2,000, and it was called the Brother of Something. It wasn't called the Gold Banner or something, something. That was the dude, dumbass. Yeah, left. that's not the same army. His army was the oh, Brother see? of whatever, and they were mercy. This is like a, a royal army, something that the Iron Bank owns. Anyway, what, I thought that was crazy. Did come back into shit. play? Probably not. That's probably yeah. why this other dude. Burns, are you still here? Sorry, Burns. We'll bring it. We'll bring it to an yeah, end here. Yeah, you guys here. have been chatting for like uh, twenty minutes now on Game of Thrones. So if you want to bring it back uh, in a minute here, that'd be great. All right, hold on. Go back to mute <laughs> mode. So I bet you this dude. I bet you that the original lover, not the original, but the dude that went to Deadpool probably bailed on Game of Thrones because, like, he was it, the show was almost over for his part. So maybe that other dude doesn't come back. Would be my Do you theory. think Jamie and Brienne of Tar, Brienne of Tar, are gonna have sex before? What about does? the redhead guy though? The redhead guy loves her. Yeah, yeah Jamie. Yeah, but her and Jamie, Jamie ain't are connected. Banging. I think that her and the Hound should do it. They'd make some tall. The Hound's ass gonna dude. die. The redheaded dude's gonna die. There's gonna be a lot of people die. I don't know. We should do a. Red, we should no, do a. No, I don't think the redhead dude's gonna die. He's gonna die. Hey, we should do a. They're getting you attached to him. He's gonna die. How about Lord Baelish getting the? Oh yeah, that was awesome. That that was, that was dope. Fucking sweet. 
Hey, Jimmy, yeah. let's do this. Before the next season, uh, the three of us, maybe we get a couple of Patrons to do it with us. We'll do a, a death pool draft. So we'll we'll pick random numbers, then we each get to pick characters. And then... Yeah, for uh, sure. So, like, obviously, number one pick would be, like, Daenerys, because she's probably not going to... You know what I'm saying? That'd be fun. She's not going to... I don't think she's going to die. That'd be um, cool. Let's do it. Hey. All right, Burns. Hold on. Burns watched the <laughs> fight, right? The fight. Or I saw some of it. I was at my brother's wedding, but you know, I snuck away to watch some of the fight. Yeah, I got me and Colby, especially me Whoops. and Colby, we got fucking lit up. We had a, a one year old birthday party transition into the fight party, and uh, would you agree it was it was entertaining? Oh yeah, for oh, sure. Yeah, well, for sure. honestly, yeah. I was kind of brown outing, so I was a little bit upset with the decision until I watched it when I was sober. He was getting his head bounced around. Yeah, he was. Uh, that was for he sure. Was a TKO. How about those hammer fists? <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna break some secret news here on the show live. 45 minutes in, inside source, Floyd bet on himself to win in the ninth round, and ended the fight in in the ninth round. So I wonder if he could have done it earlier. What? Yeah, no, Floyd, Floyd came into it with the strategy he was doing. It was he knew, obvious that he it, was just it, wearing yeah. him out. He got to the ninth round and turned it on and won millions of dollars. Did he? Yeah. He and he did see, win in the ninth. I didn't he see won the in be- the ninth. Yeah, I didn't see the beginning of the fight, but I was uh, refreshing Twitter and people were like, "Oh, I'll give that first round, first three rounds to Connor." I'm like, he, "He's gonna wear himself out." Yeah, that's what he. Yeah. I mean, it's it. As far as like me and as far as as much as I know about boxing, what it's just what ten Floyd fights I've watched in my life, a couple of random ones. That was entertaining. I would watch boxing if it was that every time, but it's not. Normally, it's yeah. a guy that no, a guy no. that fights like Floyd, and is not as good as Floyd, and it's just boring. It didn't seem I'll like it was this, a though. typical Floyd Mayweather. No, he said he wasn't going to be. He said he was going to lead. He did. He led with his head down the whole time to get him to to take shots at him. But I'll tell you right now, Floyd flushed him like 15 times in the 10th round and that dude never fell in the ninth round you, you know at the point for like a minute and a half he just he was straight flushing him in the face and connor i mean he, he should have fell you yeah, know i agree i'm not giving him a participation trophy though because someone made a really good point like wait why yeah he held he he's he was tough because he got the fight but you can't keep giving all those people participation awards and then complain no, no, about it no i'm just it. saying he no had i'm a with chin you on him he took some shots man oh for sure i thought he was going down three times before they stopped it when he he rocked his head all the way back and then floyd charged him yeah yeah, yeah. Man, let's be well, real i take two I, of those and i'm done you realize now why connor said he was going to knock him out the first like four rounds is because he knew he couldn't go any longer than that oh yeah for sure. Wait, so that's so for like the whole betting on yourself, like just from that standpoint, I thought it was fine. But if you bet on yourself and you say like a certain round, that's kind of fucked up. Yeah, that's why people are upset. It will never di- be. Pr- it will never be proven that he did it, but he one hundred percent did it. Yeah. I wow. wouldn't put it past Floyd to he tweet used out. A rat hole. I wouldn't. He used I wouldn't put it past Floyd to tweet out his bet slip though. Uh, that's the thing is we were <laughs> so I'm in a group text with a couple people and they're like, is it gonna is he gonna get in trouble? And they're like, he didn't make the bet. It was his money, but he didn't make. Did the you bet. guys see this fight coming up? Which one? Um, Canelo Alvarez and oh yeah, Triple G Golovkin. One of them's like forty something and or thirty thirty nine and O, and the other one's like forty something and one. Or yeah, like that's that. one of the ten boxing fights I watched when I was in Vegas. I watched Canelo, and then Triple G came out afterwards, and they were talking crap to fight each These other. These two dudes are monsters. It's supposed to be like, the the biggest boxing one since Floyd uh, since Floyd Pacquiao. I mean, I was looking at it the other day. I mean, I don't know boxing that well, but that was their their records are crazy. One of them's undefeated. One of them's like th- yeah, here it is. Uh, Golovkin is thirty seven and zero. Thirty-three of those are knockouts. Oh, shit! Uh, but Canelo's yeah, only lost that's, what? That's to thirteen Floyd? away from Mayweather, man. Mayweather doesn't even knock people out like that. I think Mayweather's got like, like twenty-seven or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. That's... And then uh, Canelo, his losses to Floyd, I believe. Let's look here. Canelo Alvarez is. Uh, I can't see what he is. He's lost. Yeah, he's lost one time. And see if it's to Floyd. 
which is basically participation. You, what are you supposed to do? You beat 50 other people. Pre-fight with Floyd, Floyd was 44 and 0. Oh yeah, Canelo was 42 and 0 with 30 knockouts. And that was his only loss. That's so, that's a massive fight coming up. Yeah, I kind of Anyway. So you know who I think lost in this whole situation? UFC. Why? They didn't really hype they, up anything. He got a cut. He yeah, he did. No, no, no. I'm saying UFC like as far as like Oh, now yeah, your fighter came into boxing, and everyone- no, dude, you are completely wrong. All that's gonna do is hype up McGregor when he gets back over there because they're gonna want to see him take the gloves off and beat the. Yeah, he probably gained so many fans, somebody. and people are like, oh, "I gotta yeah. see that guy fight again." All it did was take boxing fans, and they're gonna go follow him over to MMA. So, yeah, because what boxing fans don't get much to watch that much, you know. That's true, right, too. Someone needs to explain something to me. So, on the weigh-in, he weighed 154 or something like that. And then on the day of the fight, he was up to, like, 170. That's he's, typical. He is drinking a bunch of fucking water. Probably. I mean, that's... Yeah. Well, he they, wears they one they of those hydrate. suits, doesn't he? And sweats it all out and then hydrates yeah, back up. That's typical, even for, like, UFC fighting and stuff. Yeah. I actually eat food. Yeah, what is this food stuff I'm putting in my body? Did you see that when I put in the chat, the dude with the plunger? Yeah, I, I <laughs> tweeted at that dude, asked him if I could use that video. Give it about five minutes. <laughs> oh, man. Got a busy day ahead of me. What do you got on the on the docket, Burns? I don't know. What are we doing today? You want to Are you out? retired? No. I'm ready to do this YouTube thing again, man. I'm just, uh, I just got to get in touch with Jimmy's, uh, graphics person and do the thing i've been pretty fucking lazy with that though oh you're sure i thought you're I thought you're being sarcastic you're actually no. doing that no i do want to do something yeah and so, uh we're making all this money on this podcast so that's good <laughs> <laughs> we already do we already bitched about it for the first 10 minutes <laughs> the thing is i like, said we're becoming a very cynical group the thing is like I mean, I always tell you guys, like, just keep it rolling. The views are going to come. But, like, I have fun coming in and talking to you. I don't normally talk to people. Dude, that Game Besides of Thrones Colby. talk, I could have kept doing that Game of I know, Thrones he talk t- for He an takes hour. it real personal. If, he, if, if Kyle gets any type of vibe that any one of us is, like, ready to shit on the show or glint, he, like, instantly calls out the Skype chat, like, throws the, the whatever, you, the, throws the the words like are you are you done are you quitting is that it is that it jimmy (laughs) i like it though i like it i don't usually see that side of kyle yeah i have fun be cool to make some money though so yeah hit us up on patreon (laughs) patreon.com slash dude comedy become a patreon today Hey, support, the, support the show. You sound so enthused. A couple so of admins said the Discord's uh, not bad it'd anymore. Be cool to make some. Money oh, by money. the way, I think we have an ad today, so I'm gonna have to sneak that. Are no, you serious? No, let me check. Let me check. Let me double check. It might be. Oh, it, it might be the Sunday show. <laughs> I did double check. So, so I, uh, Colby just said the Discord's not as bad anymore. I looked, and then somebody, the most recent message just says. N I G G E R, like oh, stacked geez. up, so it takes up a bunch of room. Yeah, it's really bad in there. It was when I went back the day I got back in there. It seemed like people were uh, cooperating with each other again. So, but I wasn't in there for long enough to see if it was really bad. No yeah, one's. Had, sweet, I'll go no in one's, and be super positive and ask everybody how their day's going. And like, literally, it'll be shut the fuck up, faggot. You, Go kill yourself and kill Burns. Why do you clickbait? <laughs> yeah, no one's tweeted me, though, saying, like, hey, this is a disaster in about a week. So that's always good. So no ad today. It's probably the next show. So Sunday we'll have an ad for you guys. It'll be, uh, it'll be good times. Good times. <laughs> I'm having fun with this, but I'd like to make some money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, will, man. At least he's honest. That is funny. Gotta love Good it. stuff. So how long did you guys go before I popped in here? Jimmy said that they were almost done, so I, I don't believe that. Well, we were we were only going to do a, a 30 to 45 minute episode. We were 20 minutes in, so. Oh, cool. So this is like the end of the show then, or what? Yeah. 
It's, what the fuck was that? Hey, you come in late and you try and rush this shit? It, no, actually, I was just, no, I was just no, I, no, my recording's at 55 minutes. All right, so we still got I've been putting up Clash Royale videos on my channel. Really? Yeah, you, gotta get, you gotta get that uh, mobile game money, man. Their marketing budgets are Dude, huge. Dude, I love this. I'm so addicted to this damn game. You said that last show, so yeah. I'm, I'm addicted to uh, Bloons HD. Dude. Mm. Five. I love Bloons. I man. love that shit. You know what I'm really addicted to? I'm really addicted to this uh, Patreon site. So if you guys want to join the addiction, <laughs> patreon.com slash dude comedy. Jeez. I just thought of a good line for uh, the wrap up today. I'm going to say, my cup is filled with that pain reliever. No Advil. Underrated. No ad deal. Ooh, I like that. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, but the shit. thing is, Colby, we got to fucking golf at 9.52. You better hurry. You better oh, do it live. Well, I'm just going to eh. do that. That will be it right there. Oh, okay. I don't have a beat. I don't have a beat on me at the moment. ATM. Word. Uh, Sweet. I could just do that right there. Okay, Burns, here's the wrap up. No beat. Yo, my cup filled with this pain reliever. No Advil. Underrated. No ad deal. Getting money. That's bad. That's that's bad news. Okay, there we go. There's the wrap. That doesn't count as the wrap up. I got too many plans. I got my eyes on the prize, and I don't understand how to make it to the top just to say that I made it or just to say, well, hey, I'm the greatest. I'm in this game where there's far too winners. I can sell my soul just like the sinners, but come to find out just to make a quick buck, only skill that you need is this skill called luck. At this point, I can wait and settle. But I'm going to keep moving. Got the pedal to the metal because I'm messing with the best while you're messing with the rest. Searching for the more, but I'm getting the less. Well, the Sussex is a little suspect. I'm trying to cut corners just to see what's next. Just got to pass that test. What's going to happen? I'm going to give you one guess because I'm coming for the top now. There you go. Wrap up. Cool. Thank I you for live. Us. I think the dog shit upstairs. Oh, God great. Not again. Shit. What the fuck, dude? You're so <laughs> random. You're just oh. like... <laughs> At least it's not in your drawer again. Dude, that... Do you guys like salmon? <laughs> yeah, yeah. dude, it's delicious. Yeah. That's what the shit smells you like? You probably don't get that fresh shit in Alabama, Birmingham, old ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you say I'm the king of random. <laughs> the fuck was that? Wait, why do you ask about salmon? Are you eating some salmon hey, today? You need to go you need to go donate to Mr. Olstein's prosperity ladder, my my good friend. Who? Because PewDiePie's streaming and he does ad friendly thumbnails and titles, so he's streaming like H one Z one or Pub Underground, but he has it's called Salmon Stream with a picture of a fish. <laughs> so it stays ad friendly. Is that so should, uh, smart. Uh, should we talk about the title of the show before we go? Oh yeah, 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 a, a picture of the dude call me. I ain't got time to fill out the whole freaking just, overlay. Just make it a picture. Just make it a picture of Joel Olstein. Just make it a uh, Joel. The title is Joel Olstein is a genius. Okay. No, do him and say fuck this guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we got a yin and a yang. No, here. yeah, because because the how about the, how, the last episode kind of slimmed a little bit. Would you risk one million for one hundred k? What if we meet you? What if we meet and Burns and Kyle in the middle? I didn't know how to title it. We didn't discuss it. The you guys fake didn't assault. The fake assault's at seventeen thousand. Hey, what if we meet Kyle and Burns in the middle? We say Joel Osteen, fuck bitch, this guy, bitch or genius? Question mark. Which you got? I need. I need an answer here. No, just I need make, to know it, which way just to make go. it. Joel Osteen. Dot dot dot. Fuck this guy. Don't hate. Or it. just put. Or yeah, just, we're gonna literally. Call no, hold him on. Out just like put that? put him on the thumbnail and just put this guy as a bitch. There you go. There Boom, you I go. like that. Because then when there it pops up it, when it pops up on people's thing, they'll only see this guy is a bitch, and they're going to click it and wonder who's a bitch. But we also called and a we, bunch of people bitches, so that's smart. And, I like this. Yeah. And we wonder why we have no sponsors. It, it's All just right. going to – no, shut up. The, it's the <laughs> view thing. Well, you got the views. The sponsors come. This guy's a bitch. <laughs> there I you got go. it. Hey, I and got don't, it. So, and don't, don't put no stupid star – um, to censor the word bitch. Yes, I I am on YouTube. Or it, they'll strike it down. Like they'll strike it down. Like they'll fucking give us a strike well, for that. Well, fine, shit. but don't censor it on iTunes. You can't put the don't word bitch on iTunes. YouTube. Are you sure? Ooh, you don't hold want to on, keep I, that little. Hold on, I got an update on my Instagram. 
So Live. No, but, I'm going to put the star in it regardless. Yeah, they do know the what star. It means. Do the star. Yeah, they know, yeah. they know what it means. So just write no, what it there's is. No, re- it's not worth it. if they're, No, I'm going to put the star. All right, so up, update on my decision. Instagram. Listen to this, right? So I got in contact with my mystery YouTube partner, which is Studio 71. And <clears throat> he has... He has a friend in on Instagram, so they, you know, they, they uh, got my contact or got my shit to support, and so all support said was was that they acknowledged that this was actually banned due to terms of service, but typically, which this ha- so so Instagram bans a shitload of people, and so. Typically, what happens when somebody asks support, like, hey, why was this banned? They usually give reasons why it's banned, right? Like, well, look at this picture. Like, he called this black guy the N-word. Like, look, you know, they give reasons. But for some reason on my account, they would give no reasoning on why they did it. Kind of funky. Just a, a ghost ban. Some, yeah, something's fishy. So, they're uh, they're going from support to, like... Like uh, to their higher up contact, and so we'll see what's going on. Cool <laughs> but beans, something's man. fishy. Something is fishy, and I'm gonna have to rape somebody if I have to get this solved. God, that wow. Joel Osteen guy even looks like a bitch. <laughs> you saw the picture I just dropped. Look at that fucking smile of his. It's well, you'd thing. be smiling like that too. He kind of looks like Burns. <laughs> hey, this is like birds. this is crazy. Just going back one last thing uh, to the people in Houston. This is nuts. Seattle had the record for rainiest year ever with 45 inches of rain. Harvey produced 52 inches in three days. Yeah, that's scary shit, man. That's insane. Could happen anywhere. All right, I got to go, guys. Burns, give me the audio. Joel, or not Joel. This guy is a bitch, right? This guy is a bitch. All right, got it. Peace out, gentlemen. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Homies in the tree, ya. Cunt.